right? So as you can see in this example now, we're dealing with functions and examination type question, right? So it's clearly, we need to read the example carefully, right? So we got f of x equals to x minus 2 and g of x equals to 4 over x minus 2. So this is a straight line graph and this one is a hyperbola. Okay, so it says sketch the graph of f and g on the same set of axes, clearly showing all the intercepts with the axes and asymptotes where applicable. So the first thing that we want to look at now is let us sketch this particular graph, which is the straight line graph. Now, so in this particular example, we can basically use our calculator to, to sketch this graph over here. And you can see that we can just use the table mode. So we'll press mode setup, we'll go to option 7, or table mode, and equals to x minus 2. So we say alpha x minus 2, and we want to sketch our graph, we say equals to, okay, start, let's just go from minus 5, equals 2, and we'll end at 5, equals 2, and the step will be 1. Now, remember that we are just looking for, basically, remember, just two coordinates, because we just need two coordinates to sketch a, right, a line. So, if we look at this one here, what's that? Zero and negative two. What, right, what is it? That's the y-intercept. Isn't that so, right? And if we just go a little bit further down, what's that? Two and zero is the x-intercept. Okay, so we got the x and the y-intercept which makes it very easy for us now. We got the two values that we require, so we can now sketch the graph. So let us now look at that. Okay, now remember that in the examination, they will give us the grid paper and we would draw it on that grid paper. Okay, but for here, we're just going to sketch it very roughly. Okay, so y f of x equals to x minus 2. Right, so let us go back and look at our coordinates again. What coordinates we have over here? 0 and minus 2. Let us go sketch that one first. So we got 0 and let's say now we got minus 1, minus 2. So let's make that a big dot. So minus 1, minus 2 there, right? Big dot. And then let us go look at our other coordinate. 0 and minus 2. 2 and 0. zero. Right, so now we got 0. So there's 1 and 2. Okay. So where we got two, we'll just make another dot there, okay? And at this stage, if we join those two points together, we will get our straight line graph. So this is the graph of f of x equals to x minus two, okay? And we just use that, uh, use the calculator to sketch this graph, okay? It says show all x intercepts with the axis asymptotes where applicable. Now let's look at this next function that we have g of x equals to 4 over x minus 2. So once again, we're going to use the calculator, right? But before we do that, let us just look at functions again, okay? Remember that a hyperbola has two asymptotes. So if I have to ask you now, what are the asymptotes of this function? The first one will be, look there, x equals to 0. Because if x equals to 0, this function is undefined. So the first asymptote, the equation will be x equals to 0. And the other one is this value here, which is y equals to minus 2. Okay, so let us now look at sketching that. Let's use a different color. Right, so let us put the asymptotes first. So x equals to 0. Now the y-axis is x equals to 0. Mm -hmm. So we can put a broken line on the y-axis like so. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And we got y equals to minus 2. y equals to minus 2. And that is y equals to minus 2, which is the asymptote. And now we can go and sketch our graph. So let's go and look at that. So we got our asymptotes. Now let's go put that in the calculator. So let's clear that. Let's clear that. Okay, so we're going to put 4 over x. So it'll be 4 over x. 
Are you with me? Yeah. Minus 2 equals 2. Right? If g of x comes up on our calculator, then we just press equal to again. So start, let's start at minus 5 once again. So we start at minus 5 and we'll end at 5 and our step will be 1. And now let us take our points from here. Let us take the main points. We can sketch all, but I would use points minus 4 and minus 3. Can you see that point there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us look at that. So now minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 2 is there. So minus 3 will be there. So the intersection of those two points, so I'll have my first coordinate there. Can you see that? Mm. Okay, so let's now go further down. The next coordinate that I would like to use is minus 2 and minus 4. Okay, so minus 2 is there and minus 4 is here. So that's the next.